Hey y'all, it's Kathy Jo here. How y'all doing? I'm glad to be back. Um, sorry about not doing an intro last week, and I'm sorry my video didn't come out yesterday. It was supposed to be part of the Friend Friday Hop, but um, an, an emergency came up, and you know, I mean, emergencies come up, things happen. And it's rescheduled for April the 2nd, and I got a community tab now. I told you that in my video, but um, I can post stuff in there. I went in there today to try to learn how to do it, and I got it all messed up. So, hopefully I can get that figured out, and I'll let y'all know my dates, because the next couple months, it's going to be a little bit, um, crazy. So, anyway, and for y'all that your uh, notification bell isn't working, then maybe you guys can check in there and see when I'm actually loading a video. Um, here's some, uh, DIYs. From the week, so anyway, um, y'all know I love you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new here, stick around, stay a while, we'll have some fun. Um, y'all give me a big thumbs up, that makes YouTube notice me just a little bit more. I know this hair is bad, but anyway, um, I have five DIYs for y'all, well, six, but two of them go together. Anyway, and I hope y'all enjoy the video, and again, I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I appreciate everything you've done for me. All your comments. They make me laugh. I mean, you guys are just absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Have a blessed weekend. And let's get on with the video. Okay, you guys. I got two of those signs left from Valentine's Day from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to take my little heat tool and warm it up. Y'all can also use a hair dryer. And I'm going to take all that um, frame off. Yep. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the paper on it. And it was ridiculous. So, if y'all want, you can use the back side. Um, and I got it all off and sanded down. And there it is. And um, it took a while. I ain't even going to lie. It took a minute. So, I painted them both in ivory. But, I go back later. And y'all see. And I end up painting it in moss. I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think. Did you like it better in moss or ivory? Because I was just... I don't know. Couldn't make up my mind. I think I really like the moss. And I got my little frames. And I'm going to um, put some antique wax on them. I didn't go back and wipe it off or nothing like that. I just straight up put it on there. Y'all know what I mean <laughs> I have no clue oh so I got two of those little um, crate looking boxes from the Dollar Tree and I'm sorry I'm out of frame because I gotta tell you guys something when I started filming this video my um, thing that holds my camera bloop just broke right off just broke right off and I started <laughs> crying and my husband was like what's wrong and he went out to the cooler and got a, some thing that used to hold our phones up, and he he um cracker jacked it up there, and it's a mess, and it was hard to film, and I'm just going on and blabbering. But anyway, so I painted. I didn't paint the whole entire or put the wax in the whole entire um, box, just where I thought I'd see it, and I did the sides and stuff, and I took that ivory and I went down the middle there. And I painted that, which you can't really tell. Um, well, maybe a little tiny bit. And um, then I distressed the box and the frames with the ivory. Which, again, I end up going back later and painting that ivory in the mall screen. But anyway, yeah, it broke. And I got to order another one. And I keep forgetting. And I got to get it done. Seriously, like kaploop. Just like fell down. And I was like, <laughs> anyway, I don't know why I'm telling the story. So, that's my story. <laughs> so, I'm going to paint some beads, and I painted these in ivory. And I was going to go over them and paint them in moss, but then I was like, no, I think I'm just going to keep these like this. And that's what I did. And I painted... I think I painted 18 of them. No. Yeah. 18 of each, I think. No, 12 of each. Sorry. So, I'm just taking um, hot glue here and gluing my um, 
frame back on. Now you gotta do it like this, cause the other one I didn't. Oh, I'll be I'll be sitting on my belly. Anyway, stop. Um, because if you put the sides on and then try to put the little tiny sides in, yeah, it doesn't work. Um, you have to cut a piece of it off. So there, you see where I painted it in the moss. So I'm just gonna take some hot glue and glue my little boxes on there. And then I took some nautical rope, the, the really thin one, the newer one. It is so thin. And I wrapped it around three times and I make, make it look like that nautical rope is holding the little boxes up. So I think that's cute. Yeah, I do. Anyway. Um, but in the end, you can't even see it. So I was like, well, I wasted some nautical rope. But it's cute. In fact, counts. But when I change the flowers out, no, I can't do that. I mean, I can. I'm just going to stop talking about that. Yeah. So I tied a knot in it. I got a ruler to try to make sure I got it as even across as possible to make the match up. See where I'm, where I'm going to cut it and glue it down. Okay, y'all. I want to tell you this. Um, my videos are going to be like different days within the next seven weeks because i got a lot of collaborations coming up oh i got my letters here actually that's hello spring <laughs> and i think that i saw craft and cousins do this i'm not sure no it was wendy from white spare living she put her ladles ladles her letters on a painter's tape and paint them the little wood letters from the dollar tree so, I just took a piece of that nautical rope I had left over, and I unwinded it, and I'm just going to use one strand. I'm going to make it look like my little... And i got a community tab now, and when you get over a thousand subscribers, you get a community tab, and I've been trying to learn how to work it, and I haven't figured it out. But when I do, I'm going to go in and post the dates of my videos, if um, I know for some of y'all... The little notification bell is not working. So anyway, I'm just going to take glue and glue it up in the corner. Make it look like it's up under that um, frame. I cut it at a little angle and lay it down. See how I did that? Can you see? Yeah. And now I'm going to glue my little letters on. I think these were cute. It's kind of supposed to go together and like be Hello Spring. I showed them to um, Leonette, my friend. And um, she's like, I like it in spring better. <laughs> anyway, so I took some floral foam I got from Dollar Tree and stuck it down on my little box. And here I'm going to take some of this lavender. I got... All the colors I could. They had like white with a little bit of purple, really light purple, medium purple, and deep purple. And I just cut um, one sprig of each pick and I filled up my little boxes. Isn't that cute? Aww. So there's the uh, moss colored beads I painted. And I'm going to put nine. I start with green. And then go to ivory, green, ivory, green, ivory. And I use nine of them. And that's how I'm going to make my little handle. Now, um, or handle, hanger. So, I tie a knot in it. And I've already put the hot glue in it. And I'm going to slip that bead on that knot. Now, I go off frame here again. Because remember, broke my camera. You can't forget that story. That was a long story. And it only happened two minutes ago to y'all. So, Anyway, I first glue the beads to the top of the frame. I think I show you here. Yeah. So I, I first I'm trying to see where I want to put them, and then I put glue underneath it, and I glue the bead there, and then I'm gonna leave that jute twine that's on there. <clears throat> excuse me, and run a line of glue down the back, and then put the masking tape on it to make it hold. I did not mean to go out of frame. Yeah, it was, um, it was daunting. It was, um, trying to work with that. It was holding the camera sideways, so I had to try to maneuver. I don't know. I can't describe it. 
So anyway, yeah, there's where I went off frame. So that's where I'm gluing down my twine and putting my masking tape on. Y'all have seen me do this before. Um, my regulars. If um, you're new here, I'm so sorry. Um, but if you watch in my old videos, you could see what I'm doing. Maybe I'll... Oh, well, they're in that queue. Aw, look at them. Aw, isn't that pretty? Yeah. Aw. I like the moss better, I think. I don't know why. I just do. Those are cute for spring. And the lavender, isn't that pretty? Those came from the Dollar Tree. There, I'm trying to show you a little nautical rope. I put so many flowers in it, you couldn't. Oh my goodness. How long did I, This is longer than the video. <laughs> Alrighty. So, I got a piece of wood out from my garage, and it's 19 inches long. I sanded it down real good, and I'm taking celery, Waverly chalk paint, and I'm going to paint this entire sign. Yep. The whole thing. And I got me little bunny rabbit there. You know, the ones that come in the packet. Packets. Pack, yeah. And I'm going to put some of that caulk. No. Um. Oh, what is that? I use it all the time. Putting that stuff in its hole. In its ear. So, on my cricket, I cut out, um, bunny trail. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> yeah. What is that stuff called? Um, spackling. I know y'all like when I do that, like I scream out loud, do I scare you? I'm trying to hold on to my eye there. Or no, the dot of my eye. So, I just take out contact paper and I don't, I should have deleted that. And anyway, yeah. So, I'm just trying to line it up to see where I want it. And there we go. I only gave that boar one coat. It covered it good. So, that was my little bunny rabbit. And I got that uh, Waverly chalk paint in ink. And I'm going to stain them. I got a um, wet wipe there. And I'm just going to dip it in the paint. And rub it all over him. And wipe him down as I go. So, there he is dry. I'm going to put him on my little board. This turned out so cute, I think, too. That is one of those um, fix your furniture marker things. I don't know what they're called. If you get at the Dollar Tree, you get three of them in a pack, and that one's black. And I just drew a little. I should have drawn the line around it before I did the bunny rabbit, but I didn't know what I was doing. And I just got me one of those little sawtooth hangers that you pound in and just measured out about where the middle is and pounded it in. Hammered it in. Sorry. So, I got a little bit of antique wax that was left over from something else. And I just used what was left in my brush and just ran it over just a little bit. Not a lot. Just a little bit. You can barely even tell. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and I took some of that um, good gravy. Those flowers. And I wrapped jute twine around it. Tied it up and made a little bouquet and glued it down there that lavender and I made um, him a little tie he's gonna go get his bouquet and go get his girlfriend and give her the bouquet of flowers <laughs> yeah <laughs> look at that forgot to flip that bunny trails backwards oh and then I tied in a knot I took jute twine and I tied it in a knot like four times right and one knot on top of the other and made him a little jute Tail. <laughs> I don't know why I laugh. <laughs> I, d I really don't. And that's done. And I think that is so cute for Easter. That's just adorable. Look at it. Oh, isn't that pretty? Yeah. He's going to eat him a carrot there. 
maybe take a nap on that succulent. I have to find something to say at all times. Look, next weekend, or no, next, okay, I got one of those little short, ch chunky houses from the Dollar Tree. It's like me, it's short and wide. But anyway, and I took, I pushed the back out of it, and I tried to get that paper off. I could not. So I sanded it the best I could, and I got that paper there from Hobby Lobby. Um, they have it, like, I don't know. I went the other day, and it wasn't four for a dollar. They were 69 cents a piece, and I'm like, I'm not buying it. I'll wait till it's four for a dollar. So I'm just going to cut it out. It's that little shiplap paper. I, I, I think I showed it to y'all, but I think I was talking about something else in the process. Oh, my. And I got my little glue stick. I make sure I go around the edges real good. Real good. And then I put it on the middle. You can't even tell that paper's on there. I sanded it down. And I took my little Cricut tool and, and scraped. And I'm glad I did because a big blob of glue came, came off the top of it. So you get three of those little moss bunnies in a packet at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to mark a line, like a little short line, around his head, head tail, nose, and underneath <laughs> i don't know and i'm gonna take it around and make a circle all of it make those lines match up <clears throat> this is and then i'm gonna take the, i love those things but it's an inspiration piece from hobby lobby um it's not exactly like theirs but they did have a little wreath that was um it looked it well it was painted on one and heavens knows uh, nobody wants to see me painting anything on so, I got those, and I cut those out, because you can't use that round wreath, because your bunny's too big. So, I decided to make me a wreath, and I just put the little rub bone transfer down. I think heat works good. I think when you put your finger on it and rub it, it seemed to me that I got them off real good and fast like that. And I'm just going to take, like, the shape they go when they're shaped, like, round, like, you know, bends a certain way. I'm just going to go the direction that the... Greenery is bending in. I don't make a bit of sense. <laughs> I don't know how I was the head of a department <laughs> and took care of people in America and the military and Puerto Rico and Virgin Islands. I'm like, and they made me responsible for that. Can you believe? <laughs> oh, anyway, so then I took the other um, style, the little rounder leaves instead of the pointier leaves. And I laid that on there, too, to make it thicker and make little sprigs, like, stick out throughout the wreath. Um, Y'all do what you want. I just made, see, isn't that cute? I just made my own little pattern. And they do go right one on top of the other, no problem. So I'm going to glue my little moss bunny in there. Aw, that's so cute. I love this one. I'm in love with this one. And I made a little uh, shoestring twine bow. She'll say that fast three times. And I'm just going to glue my house right back on top of my little background. Okay, so here I got these four little flower pots at Hobby Lobby. I got them 40% off, and then I got those little candle um, cups. I know that's not what they all were. Candle stands. Anyway, I'm going to paint them on Waverly White Chuck Paint. And I'm going to take... Uh, what's left of that juke twine I had before that I made the other stuff with and run it on just the inside of his little house. Maybe that's the girl and the other little bunny's going to go see her and take her that bouquet of flowers. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't talk. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> And I'm just going to glue it all the way around. And then I'm going to um, glue my little house to that little candle thing. Yeah. And then I got my little flower pots. Those are so cute. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, and I'm going to put that lavender. I'm taking the greenery off the lavender and going to glue a piece. Just like take one piece off and glue the end of it and stick it down in there. And then I'm going to clip down my... Lavender, and I'm going to stick it in the little flower pots, and that is so cute. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. 
I love that. Isn't that adorable? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't know why. I just I just do. It's not exactly like the one at Hobby Lobby. It don't have the little flower pots or the stand or nothing like that. but Or the bow or nothing. But I don't know. I put my own twist to it. I just think it's adorable. I'm in love with this thing. Okay, so here my husband ordered something from Amazon. I don't remember why, and it came in that um, burlap sack. He said, you think you can use that? And I said, heck yeah. So I'm taking a piece of canvas where I cut, or cut, yeah, cut the canvas away from the, pulled the canvas frame, and I took my black, paint marker and it just wouldn't work right and this is oh me oh my what a mistake I made I took that furniture marker and thought I'd fill that in and oh it bled I was like oh no what was I thinking and the reason I did is because I cut my letters too close together on the cricket when I made them a little stencil I did it with the ink it came out perfect I mean just well nothing's ever perfect but it came out good, as close to perfect as it could have gotten. But my C was jacked up. Oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my sweet baby said goodbye. And I'm just gonna steam stipple. That, that's a long stippling brush. All the letters. I can't believe that I messed that C up. I did fix it somewhat. Y'all will see. I was so devastated over that. But, yeah, I just used the back part of that canvas. The other side's painted black. I was going to use it for something else to change my mind. Look at that. Isn't that good? Now, what? Wait till you see the sea. A sailor went to see, see, see. It's still wet when I'm pulling them off. Look at the sea. Oh, no. Oh, no. Anyway, I fix it. So, I'm just going to cut that the best I can. And then I thought... I don't want it square. I want it kind of wonky, rounded, like, but not rounded. I didn't want it. Y'all will see. There we go. I end up taking ivory paint and painting the right, not ivory. Yeah, ivory. Sorry. Jeez. And painting around that C, so I'm to correct it. So I took that um, <clears throat> wax paper and stuck it down inside my little bag because... I didn't want to glue it together. Um, Y'all can use those, um, shoot, what's those bags? Carrier bags, those, um, they sell at the Dollar Tree. It's got a design on one side, but you could use the other side to make this. Yeah. So, I filled it full of plastic bags, and I'm just stuffing my little carrots down in there. Yep. And I took my black ink, and I made little lines on the scent thing for five cents and I'm going to take this is what helped the antique wax I think it like after I put that ivory on there that antique wax fixed it now you won't have to go through all that mess but if you do want it to look old you can put antique wax on it I think that looks good and I'm sure y'all won't mess up your C here it is I put some onion grass down in the bag with it I should have added those taller carrots because it would look better but they're orange and yellow and I just don't like that but I think that turned out so cute yes I do then when they go on their date they're going to go to the fresh carrot but <laughs> eat some carrots <laughs> you know the two little bunnies anyway I've said that a long time. Okay, y'all. Here is everything. One final look. Y'all know I love you from the bottom of my heart. And I appreciate you more than you know. If you're new here, stick around. Stay a while. Give me a thumbs up. Those thumbs up really helps my channel grow. And, um, share. Um, yeah. I mean, I just... I love doing this. I enjoy every bit of it. And I hope y'all like it too. And y'all have a blessed weekend. And I will try to get that community tab going. 
and put down everything so you all will know when I'm posting my videos. Um, again, I love you from the bottom of my heart. Y'all be safe and try to stay warm. Bye.